So why was Tesco actually successful? I actually have three answers here. They're not really complete, but these are the things that you actually want to see. One, you actually go to think about, first, of course, the customer. They started talking about the Koreans being the second most industrious and busiest people in the world. They don't have time to go shopping. Two, they're actually so busy, right? But of course, they need some food, right? So you're actually looking at them, right? Am I actually looking at you? You're actually easygoing people. Do you have enough time to go groceries, <laughs> right? You begin asking those questions now of whether your customer is actually going to be one who actually needs it. Second reason is actually going to be technology. Technology. When I went to Korea several years ago, I found out my cheap cell phone doesn't work. I found out only 3G systems actually work in Korea. Are 3G systems actually working in the Philippines? I just received a text now. It's 10 o'clock. 7 o'clock this morning, I texted my colleague Dennis. Where are you? Are you already in the intercon? I received it just now. <laughs> my biggest customer is my wife. My wife tells me, like, why are you just now? It's already 12 o'clock. And I tell her, I was in a meeting. I texted you six hours ago. It's not there. What is our technology? In fact, I was actually thinking, and I actually have to confirm this with our colleague, Dr. Fred, here. They were actually saying Tesco is actually a British company. They started doing this in the underground in London, but actually, that's actually the chismis, the rumor I actually heard, is that they did not actually succeed in the underground in London. Why? There was no signal in the underground in London. Right? They've actually been trying to work it out at the Gatwick Airport in London again, but they were actually looking at different customers. The customers are going to be those who are actually jet setters who come home, they don't have anything to eat, so you actually s take that picture. When you reach home, you already have your food. But it's a different customer, but it's the technology that matters. That's the reason why I begin asking the question, do we actually have the technology to run it up here? And of course, the most important reason why it actually works is management. Management understood the customer, they understood the technology, but there is a more interesting problem here. If the technology did work, would your food be delivered in your house before you reach your house? How many motorcycles, how many drivers, how many vans would you actually have to buy? And is management willing to hire all these people, buy all of these motorcycles, because you're expecting a lot of this demand? Would you? In Korea, they did. They had a system that would actually have delivered that, and uh, they understood the concept of logistics.